Oh, so um, today we'll carry on with what we were talking about on uh, Monday, which is this experiencing of sensations in the body and how the how we constantly translate those sensations that we feel into feelings and emotions. Yeah, so although we think we're um, reacting to a nice cup of tea with a lovely fuzzy feeling, uh, you know, of enjoyment, actually the sort of the sight of that cup, for example, which I associate with my morning cup of rubosh, uh, actually sets off sensations in my body and then I react to those sensations. Those sensations might feel nice or those sensations might feel unpleasant depending how I perceive them. Um, and it's those those sensations that I actually chase. Uh, um, I think those sensations, the happiness, sorry, or the feeling is actually due to the cup. I don't see that it's things happening inside my body. So um, hold on, I just made a note, so I wanted to say something. Yeah, so there are a lot of sensations that we don't necessarily want to feel or we don't want to be with. Um, you know, feelings like anger and anxiety or sadness. Uh, and what we can tend to do with those is resist them or lock them away. And at first we might end up with uh, you know, we might end up with areas of the body that feel a little bit sort of, uh, I don't know, like well, dead's maybe not the right word, but, you know, a little bit sort of unsensitive. So when we do a body scan, you go to a certain places and you're like, oh, I can't feel, I can't sense anything in that area of the body, maybe. Uh, and that's possibly because you're blocking that area off, maybe subconsciously, because you don't want to feel what's there. Um, other times, we might do that. We might sort of um, resist a sensation because it leads to a certain feeling in us. And and then that will gradually build up. You know, it doesn't go anywhere. It sort of needs to be vented out if, by us recognising it. And then we might end up with like a chronic ailment, like a cro often it's a chronic stomach condition or chronic headache. That sort of stuff um, are very common. So what we really need to do is is to make sure that we're present and um, acknowledge all sensations that arise and, and, and not afraid of experiencing our emotions and our feelings. That's, that's something we're quite scared of, you know, and that's why we do all this sort of resisting and denying and blocking off. Um, so a lovely way to think of it before we start our practice is if you're standing on the bank of the river and you're, you're watching the river, you're watching the river flow by, then you can't get swept away by the current. You know, so what happens is rather than getting swept away by these emotions of fear, anger, sadness, or whatever they might be, so so we refuse to go there because we're worried we'll get swept off by them, we actually use them as a support for our practice. You know, so so we learn how to observe them as a uh, as the awareness, if you like. And then we can see them clearly. We can acknowledge those emotions and those feelings and those sensations in the body that, that are giving rise to them. But we won't actually get swept away because we've got that awareness and clarity to see that we are separate from an emotion. We aren't the emotion. It's just uh, something that's arising. So I hope that's useful. We'll go into straight into a practice. In this one today, I'm going to say less. Um, hopefully I'm going to speak less and give you more time just to to, to be with it. Um, I don't want to keep distracting you. Um, but as ever, if you're feeling like something is too powerful or if you feel like you've fallen into a river of something you don't like and you're getting swept off by it, then you come back very clearly to the breath or to sounds or something else and you just re you regain your your ground. And then if you feel like you want to dip back into the body again, you, you can. But we're, we're not calling up anything unpleasant. We're just allowing whatever appears to be there. So make sure you're comfy uh, and warm enough. And as ever, we just find a nice stable ground to work from. So we want to find a start point, if you like, 
where we feel as if we've got some stability, we've got some firm ground underneath us. And we can just help to establish that by finding our nice solid anchor, whatever that might be today, maybe our breath, I can hear birds and the wind outside, so I could use those sounds. We find we get swept away by a thought or a plan or a memory. And we remember that's perfectly normal. That's why we're doing the practice. We just come back to our support or our, our anchor. Just until we're feeling a bit more stable. Allowing our shoulders to rest and soften down away from our ears. Noticing maybe how we hold them there defensively. Not all. For some of us, that's a common area to hold tight or to resist. Maybe we hold our tummy or our chest tight. We've done it for so long that we might feel even as if it's hard to breathe sometimes. might suffer from digestive issues. Maybe we try to block our senses in our head. Sometimes we feel overwhelmed. It's almost as if we don't want to receive any more input. Denier, seeing and hearing. So if we're trying to keep the world out, to keep ourselves safe, then we might feel that as headaches or migraines. Or just a tension in the head. So just becoming familiar with the territory of our own body. That's all of our bodies are like a map of our life. We almost read our bodies if we were able to. All those stored up memories and incidents, injuries and traumas. We can get swept away if we're not careful because they can be quite powerful sensations. So in this practice, we're just going to remember that we're the observer standing on the riverbank. And we're clearly watching and seeing the flow of sensations in the body. We're watching and observing the coming and going of 
feelings, emotions and thoughts that are attached to those body sensations or stimulated by them. And this gives us a chance to just allow everything to be there. To acknowledge it without becoming caught up in the current and the turbulence. You may naturally be drawn to a certain part of your body without giving it any thought. Maybe it wants to be acknowledged and it wants to be seen. And you just find yourself drawn towards observing the sensations passing through. Without any attached fear or anxiety. Knowing that you're completely safe. as the observer on the riverbank. Or you might feel that nowhere in particular is calling out. In which case you can just start somewhere at your centre, maybe your belly button. You might prefer just to allow your observation to radiate outwards from that point. Just acknowledging all body sensations that come and go. We might notice that a thought appears, or a memory, or some other mental activity. And we can acknowledge that and see clearly that the moment it appears, it creates its own cascade of new sensations flooding the body or focused in one area. And then we may react to that new flood of sensations by feeling it as emotion good or bad positive or negative
I'm just going to let you observe for a few minutes. Just go wherever you feel drawn to, but keep reminding yourself that you are the observer on the riverbank. And if you lose your footing, you slip into the water, you can easily step back out. So we might find if there are things we're not comfortable with, that we don't want to acknowledge or feel or sense, that will distract ourselves. Our most common distraction is new thinking. New planning. Anything but acknowledging and being with the things that we don't enjoy. As soon as we look directly at those sensations, 
we realize they can't touch us or harm us in any way and they never had the power that we imagine they did Like the monster in the cupboard when you're little and it's bedtime. The monster is only scary because you never open the cupboard door and look directly inside to see there was nothing there. We have to remember this isn't a confrontation. It's not a battle of will. Just an allowing and an acknowledging of everything that's present. all sensations and feelings We're just going to slowly and gently move outwards from inside the body towards the skin. Just noticing that boundary. between what we imagine to be the limited us and everything else around. Notice in contact with the ground, the body parts with other parts of the body. the air around your face, your hands, and just noticing for a moment if there really is such a clear separation we really define the place where we feel we end and everything else begins. So 
or maybe we're not quite as alone as we imagined we were. Maybe we're completely connected to everything else. No limit. Certainly no boundary to our awareness or knowing. And come gently back to your breath now. So notice it moving. Allowing it just to find a bit more life. As it fills your body. Just leaving you refreshed and cleaned out. Taking a wiggle or a stretch if you need to.